Hello, this is Kurt McGovern. And Kyle McGovern. Of McGovern Marketing Group. And we're in my kitchen in my house doing a little cooking of shepherd pie. I don't know, a lot of you don't realize this, but my son Kyle here was a chef in Las Vegas prior to becoming a manufacturer's rep in the promotional advertising business. So today we're going to have a little fun showing you some beacon products. And Kyle's going to cook a phenomenal meal. Not bad, Kyle, not bad. So first thing you're going to want to do is grab all your ingredients. You want to have a nice clean workstation. So me, I like to wear an apron so I don't get all beat up here. Uh, so this is also coming from Beacon Promotions. And then we have our ground beef. I like to use ground chuck with ground lamb. Uh, just a little bit nicer flavor, a little bit fattier. Uh, we're also going to be cutting up and to peel all of our potatoes. Uh, then I like to cut them up a little bit smaller in squares, a little easier to cook faster. Uh, and then we're also going to need to measure out with our measuring cups from Beacon some of the corn, carrots, as well as the peas. Uh, and then for the onions, we're going to be sauteing some of those. So just a nice rule of thumb is to keep your, finger, your knuckle right against the knife so you can actually continue to work while you talk to people. Nobody wants to cut their finger off. It really kind of ruins the meal and probably your day. <laughs> That's why I'm filming, folks. <laughs> so now that I have all my garlic and onions minced up, I'm going to be sauteing them in a pan with just a little bit of olive oil. I also dropped off all of my potatoes into the hot water so we'll get our mash going. Uh, in order to get all my spices, I used one of our measuring spoons from Beacon to get those going. Uh, as well as we use our measuring cups to get not only the vegetables all measured out, uh, but also the washer sauce and then the beef broth that we have one of our other measuring cups from Beacon. Using one of our new spatulas from Beacon, uh, it has the nice marble look to it. These do come in a blue as well as a red as well. I'm adding right now some salt, pepper, rosemary, thyme, and uh, what else do I got here? And also, I'm going to be adding the Worcestershire sauce and parsley. Oh, very good. And again, like I said, I prefer using a lamb and ground chuck mix. Just a little bit more flavor. If you want to use all ground beef, feel free to do that, or all lamb. Just your preference. So let's toss that in and get our beef cooking. If you add all your ingredients, bring it to a simmer, your gravy should thicken up nicely. So we're going to have this. We got all of our potatoes boiled and we're straining those. You're going to want to let these sit for about a minute, a minute just to get any extra moisture. Good rule of thumb is if you can stick it with the fork and it goes in easily, then you're golden. So then we'll put this into a container. We have our masher. So we can start mashing everything and I have already measured out. We have. Garlic powder, pepper, salt, Parmesan cheese, some half and half, as well as some butter. So all these are gonna go in together and then we'll add them, start putting them into the pan. Again, another beacon product. Another beacon product. Meat all cooked. I got my oven preheating to 400 degrees. Got my potatoes mashed. So we'll put the meat in the bottom and then we'll fold over the potatoes on the top. Cooking wow, these for about delicious. 25 to 30 minutes, just keep an eye on it. Uh, and you just want the top to be a little bit browned. And then at the very end, we'll garnish it with uh, some parsley flakes. Hey, nice beacon product there, buddy. And another beacon product. Again, I was using the marble one earlier, but now we have the green one as well. So we're now prepared to get, uh, throw it in. We got the potatoes over the top, smoothed out, heated up to 400 degrees. And. Voila. Toss this in for, again, 25 to 30 minutes. Just keep an eye on it. Uh, you want the top to be a little bit browned and just nice and crispy. Uh, so we'll be eating soon. Kyle, well, how's it looking? It's been about 28 minutes. So we have our nice oven mitts from Beacon. Want to be nice and golden brown. Ooh, and then we also that looks have fantastic. our pot holders. So you don't want to mess up your countertop. Excellent. We got you covered there as well. So you're going to want to wait about 15 minutes before eating this. You don't want to burn yourself. Uh, but then we also have our spatula so we can cut this out. And uh, we'll be ready to enjoy here in a little bit. So to finish off today, we're going to take a little bit of parsley, 
Just drizzle that over the top just for a little extra color. As you can see, we got one of our pieces out right here. Looks fantastic, should be nice layered. This is a very heavy dish. Uh, so if you wanna do a side with it, I always recommend a salad, it's fantastic for it. So in order to cut up some of our veggies, we have one of our new knives from Beacon, as well as if you don't want your lettuce to go brown, we do have our lettuce knives. Uh, something else, I love avocado on pretty much everything. So not only can you cut it open, you can core it and you can slice it. So we got all that for our salad. Uh, at the end of the day, I'm like, if you do get any food in your teeth, we even got toothpicks for you. So we got you covered on all aspects. Uh, so other things in salads that I've added in the past, I always like apples as well. So we do have an apple core that we can add some a little bit more of a fruity feel to it. Uh, and then for cleanup, we even got you covered there where we can scrub our pans and just make life nice and easy for you. Uh, as for dessert, I always love ice cream. So we even got the ice cream scoop. Something else that goes great, you gotta have with a meal, a great drink to go with it. So I'm gonna make for you an Irish Cesarac. Just a little bit of Jameson, something really simple. About an ounce and a half, two ounces. Uh, I just like just a few, so one, two, three, four, sorts of bitters. And then for the simple syrup, it's kinda at whatever you'd like. If you like it sweet, great. I like tasting the good stuff a little bit more. So I'll just put in just a little bit of that and then stir it up. You can also shake this if you like. I feel like Tom Cruise and cocktail here. So another one, if you think it really isn't your thing, can never go wrong with a Guinness as well. So we got our uh, bottle opener coaster magnet. So you're not gonna mark up your counters. And Dad, this one is for you. Well, it's been a very interesting afternoon cooking with uh, Chef Kyle McGovern. Remember to call McGovern Marketing Group and Beacon Promotions for all your promotional needs. We really, truly, truly appreciate all your support. God bless you. Shalasha.